Well, hello and welcome to Demonism Total Nodri channel. And you should be most welcome indeed. Today I will make a updated tutorial of an old tutorial I made, and that is how to make your internet faster for free. And uh, you might think this is a joke, but it's not. It's just that, yeah, people don't know this. And uh, some people make money of you not knowing this. And that's the big reason why everyone does, doesn't use this. Um, it has no downside. It's, it's just perfect. It makes your internet faster for free. <laughs> I mean, according to this, you know, statistics, you will at least get uh, twice the internet speed you had when browsing um, compared to some other in yeah, milliseconds but anyways it depends you know how you measure internet but it will make your internet a lot faster and you will notice it when browsing trust me or I did at least I mean some may not notice it but most people will notice it and if you look at just uh, uh, when they compared different DNS services you know this service I'm going to introduce today makes it faster. There is no denying that. So, you might be all confused already and I'm going to explain some stuff for you uh, that I didn't explain in the previous video and that was a concern that a lot of people had. Uh, so that's why I'm going to explain it now. Uh, a DNS is short for Domain Name System. And domain name system, well, there is a lot of information about this, but um, the shortest and easiest way to explain this is that DNS is basically the phone book for the internet. So when you access, uh, you know, when you access a site or something, uh, your computer needs to be redirected to the server and stuff. And um, your computer can't remember the long address there. So we solve this by using a domain name system. And it's basically like a phone book. You want to phone Kalle, but you don't remember the number to Kalle, so you check in this book. Yeah. And uh, DNS, um, everyone uses DNS. We just use different one. Uh, if you don't do this setting, you will most likely use the DNS that is provided by your internet provider, the company that you pay money to give you internet. And now this is a problem with that, because this company, they, they might collect your information, they might, uh, they can actually check what you're doing on the internet. I mean, yeah. And, and the good thing with this new DNS is that it's promised to be more private. And in the earlier tutorial I made, we were connecting up to open DNS, which indeed makes your internet much faster, probably twice as fast as if you use your regular DNS. But this can make it like, say that my old was 40, you know, Google is a bit faster than the general one. So say that, uh, then yeah, the stock one, it of course depends on company to company, but say it's a little bit slower than Google's. That means that uh, this new 1.1.1 DNS might actually make your system four times quicker in milliseconds. And this will improve your, I mean, you won't necessarily be able to download a file four times as fast, but it will make your browsing experience quicker, that's for sure. All right. And uh, if you enter, you know, you need to be careful with the numbers you enter in the DNS because, uh, and this, I didn't explain this properly in the last one, I just uh, go uh, go out uh, gave out this uh, open DNS and I should explain this that uh, you should be careful but open DNS and this 1.1.1.1 is trusted DNS services <laughs> I trust them more than Google. <laughs> anyways 
they, 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 they collect data for sure, I guess that's the gap here in time, <laughs> millisecond probably. But probably your vanilla one is uh, probably gathering more data or something. Because otherwise the Google one wouldn't exist. But anyways, we're going to set this up now and... Uh, if you're a bit new to settings and how to work with stuff, you'll have to hang on with me a little bit here. But uh, launch your settings. Now my system is in Swedish, but it doesn't really matter. And you want to go this um, little wired globe, network and internet, click that one. You actually need to set this up for both your Wi-Fi and your Ethernet, yeah? You need to do it for both of both of them, but um, you go to any of them and then you click change network card alternative or uh, internet card alternative here on related settings. Click here, and you will get this uh, network connection uh, window up. Now I don't have my Wi-Fi connected, so I won't go. We can check it, but um, what you want to do here is you want to right click and you want to click uh, basically settings or preferences. And here, here um, you can see we have Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Make sure you change the correct things here. Don't don't do anything that I don't do, okay? You might mess up your internet, but if you do as I do, you'll be completely fine and get faster internet, yeah. So we click here on Internet Protocol version 4 and we click Preferences. And uh, here we have this second setting here. And we have get a DNS, uh, get an address from the DNS server automatically. And that's the default setting basically, yeah? And you want to change it to use following DNS server address. And the one I had previously was open DNS. And it's also a good DNS, but this will make it even faster as I already explained. If this 1.1.1.1 wouldn't work for some reason, and this really seems to be the most private, safe, and fastest DNS out there, they really seem to have. Uh, they really seem to be an awesome company. Um, anyhow, if they for some reason would change the DNS numbers or anything like that, you can check back to this video, and I'll, pre I'll, I'll try to keep you updated in the description. But um, if it for some reason wouldn't work, um, I don't know why, but if it wouldn't work, you can use OpenDNS. And I'll post a link, uh, I'll post it in the description, the information of the DNS number for OpenDNS as well. And that's basically my last tutorial. Maybe I can link to that instead. But anyways, here on use uh, DNS uh, server for choice or address, you click one uh, in each of this one dot one dot one dot one for the alternative we want to have one and dot zero uh, dots are automatic here yeah? dot zero dot one just like this and uh, then we click OK and now we change that this is Internet Protocol 4 However, some sites also use Internet Protocol version 6. This is the newer one, it will probably be stuff for the future, so you want to change this too. And it's TCP IPv6. And you want to click the same button here, you want to change the settings. For the TCP IPv6, yeah, the addresses are a bit long, so it will just drag out if I read them. Uh, or actually, I don't know, may maybe someone is vision impaired, okay, so I'll just say um, the, the used first one is 2606, colon 4700, colon 4700, 
colon colon 1111 and the alternative one is 2606 4700 colon 4700 colon colon 1001 and uh, I'll paste this in the description so just copy them from there then you can just paste them in and click OK and uh, now we set up this um, this Ethernet and you'll need to do the same for the Wi-Fi it's different network cards actually it's not the same network card you have physical cards in your computer that um, you know makes your internet so you want to make the same settings as before we want to click here and uh, you want to use the following one so one oops one point one point one point one and alternative one point zero point zero point one and then okay and of course uh, paste in the other ones for the uh, click use following and paste in the server one for the DNS server of IP6 just repeat the uh, repeat the same for the other uh, previous IPv6 card and that's that's the setting you need to do uh, of course these are pasted in the description if you just want to copy and paste and I also post the um, yeah, the links to the 1.1.1.1 homepage and you can read more about their uh, mission to make internet free not, uh, you know, so that people don't get spied upon, can post what they want and uh, basically against surveillance and uh, destruction of free speech by uh, some governments that actually crack down on people that uh, try to go onto the internet and express uh, beliefs that that government doesn't agree on and stuff like that. So I really recommend the 1.1.1.1. Uh, aside from that, uh, with their privacy and they see really seem to be do a lot of good, um, it's faster. And I guess that's why most of you came here. Anyhow, we just want to uh, close this down now and um, this is how to change it. And if you want to watch future videos, you should subscribe and please like the video. I hope that this time I explained everything thoroughly enough so people understand it a little bit better and also don't get worried about me giving up a DNS uh, number uh, without explaining more what DNS is and uh, where this uh, number is, uh, w w what this new uh, protocol what this new, I mean, address book basically uh, leads to. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. This is Jim Edison, signing out.